What is up guys? Welcome back to Swish Life Garage with your boy Caleb and today I got a review video for an engine stand from Vane Stands. You may or may have not have heard of them uh, but they do make some engine stands that is made for specific engines. Um, what's so special about it, it's not your typical Harbor Freight type of engine stand where you could you know kinda like a rotisserie type thing. Uh, this engine stand has four legs and it bolts up to the engine when it's sitting on the ground it would be sitting as if it was sitting in the car so exact tilt and everything onto it that's what really intrigued me and I was getting ready to drop the engine on the Del Sol so I really wanted to buy the engine stand now before we go into it let me just tell you guys my experience from buying from them and everything that comes into play a few weeks before I bought from them, I do know they were on a podcast with Downstar and that did help get their name out there and that increased their workload on them. Uh, as well, it was at the beginning of the plandemic, the scamdemic, whatever you guys want to call it. It was the beginning of that, so that took effect into back ordering my order. Uh, as well, they were working in, a, I believe, in a garage from their home, moving into an actual commercial unit garage. Um, so moving everything along with the scamdemic, along with being on the podcast, with increasing the orders, you know, kind of caused all this ruckus within the company itself and really pushed my order back. But I wasn't really tripping about that because I wasn't really too concerned about getting my order within a couple of days or so since I was planning to do this at a later time. Another thing, when I first received the first box, it was a bit messed up, but I did reach out to Vane Stands pretty quickly and he offered to send out the other stand with the correct parts uh, with two day shipping. So I really appreciate that. That's good customer service. Again, I'm not saying that you guys are going to be experiencing this, but this is just kind of the scenario that was in play at the time of ordering and sending out my order. I'm really hoping that this product meets my expectations because it's exactly what I'm looking for and uh, I don't think anyone else offers it or they have tried to offer it but they haven't executed it as good as Vainstand has. Without taking any more time let me go ahead and show you guys the product. The one I bought is a D series. I plan to use this on a D16 Z6. I am going to assemble it on this video, but I'm not going to put it into actual use. There will be a separate video afterwards of me actually taking down the engine and, you know, just a review of how everything's working. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. Well, firstly, we have the base. Sticker. And they do have like a secondary business which is their injector lab cleaning out injectors OEM and aftermarket. Here's the wheels. And here should be the legs, all four of them. And then the bolts to assemble to stand together. All right, as you guys can see, I got the base, I got the legs, A, B, C, D, all four legs, and the wheels, and these nuts should be going through the bars here to hold the actual um, supporting legs to the engine and to the stand here. Uh, these bolts here should be used for connecting the stand to the engine. Um, of course, I'm going to use these at a later time on the other video that I'm going to show you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and throw this together. All right, so here is the stand all put together. Uh, but really, I just wanted to show you guys what you would be getting if you do order it. As far as quality-wise, everything looks to be straight and true. And, you know, for the most part, for what it is, it's exactly what I expected it to be. 
you know and the wheels I guess if you want to talk about that the quality of them pretty quality wheels I've seen some bad rolling wheels um, some of them over here do have locks on them I guess to be honest I should have changed one of the wheels to the other side since only two of them have locks that's not really a problem but it does have these bolts onto here for the legs that hold up the engine once it is bolted up it still has some play in there but of course when the engines on there that's not going to really matter but of course I'm going to show you guys on the next video when I do have the D series on to here review of the powder coating it looks very well done uh, your typical type of industrial powder coating for parts so not a complaint from there I have heard you can get your own colors if you would like but of course that comes at an additional price but hopefully this video helped you guys if you're thinking about buying the engine stand or just trying to see how everything fits onto here this is exactly what you're going to be getting alright guys you guys have seen the engine stand from Bane stand it looks pretty good hopefully everything functions as it should of course if you are buying an engine stand for your specific engine it may be a little bit of a different configuration maybe some thicker tubing um, it just depends on what you're working with but hopefully this gave you a little bit of knowledge before placing your order or before receiving your order or hopefully made a decision for you um, but let me know down below in the comment section of course like or dislike this video subscribe if you like and turn on them bell notification as well the giveaway is still going on until I reach 5,000 subscribers all you have to do is drop a comment on one of my videos before I reach 5,000 subscribers and you will be entered in to win $200 just comment anything down below it doesn't matter or let me know what you're going to do with the money but alright guys that is going to be the end of this video I'll catch you on the next one